I am Dr. John Scharfenberg, a medical physician from Loma Linda University, California, where I'm professor of nutrition. Today, I want to discuss sunshine and vitamin D. It's important we get adequate sunshine where the sun hits the skin, it goes to the liver, and then on to the uh, kidneys to form a hormone, but we call it vitamin D, but it's really a hormone. You need adequate sunshine to have good bones. When you have adequate vitamin D, you will absorb 30 to 40% of the calcium you take in. But if you have a lack of vitamin D, you absorb only 10 to 15%. So if you don't get enough vitamin D, you won't get enough calcium, you have a higher risk of osteoporosis of the bones. Now, the only way to tell if you are deficient in vitamin D is to have a blood test. Otherwise, there's no way of knowing. Many in Poland, because we're up at such a high latitude, many in Poland are deficient of vitamin D. So it's very important that everybody uh, have their doctor check to see what their vitamin D blood level is. Now, if it was just a matter of bones, I wouldn't be so concerned. But it's a matter of cancers. Those with low levels of vitamin D have increased risk of colon cancer, prostate cancer, and breast cancer. It's a matter of heart disease also. They took people who had high blood pressure and they, they exposed them to ultraviolet light three times a week. And when they did that, the blood levels of vitamin D increased and the blood pressure was reduced six millimeters of mercury. So it affects blood pressure, it affects cancer risk, as well as the bone problem. Many doctors in the United States say that 75% of their patients have low vitamin D blood levels. Now, who doesn't get enough vitamin D? People in higher latitudes who are up too high, they don't get enough sunshine. Even if you get enough sunshine, you may have problems. If you're elderly, like I am, your skin is working at half speed, the liver is working at half speed, the kidneys are working at half speed. So uh, you have to be out there and get exposed longer. Now, the problem with too much sunshine is you can get skin cancer. But when you go out to sun, get sunshine at the beach, don't put the sunscreen on right away. Get sunshine without the sunscreen. And after 30 minutes, then put on the sunscreen. But people need to know if they're adequate in vitamin D or not, and that they have to do by having the doctor do a blood test on them. So get your vitamin D checked.